After a health scare, Suzanne Summers' husband dials 911, speaking out about a health scare that recently prompted them to call emergency services, as well as the humorous aftermath of the incident, are Suzanne Summers and her husband, Alan Hamel. The incident happened while the two were at their Palm Springs home. As they do every day, the 76-year-old step-by-step alum and the 87-year-old TV host were taking each other's blood pressure when Hamill became worried about the reading he was receiving for Summers. After I took eight or ten readings on our blood pressure machine and kept seeing terrible results for Susan's blood pressure, I called 911, Hamill said on Fox News. The actress told Page Six that it was the first time they had ever called 911. Neither disclosed the numbers that raised the red flag, but the Mayo Clinic states that a reading of 180 over 120 or higher warrants consulting a physician. Hamel was pleasantly surprised at how soon assistance showed up. Recalling terrible stories of calling for help and having it arrive for over an hour, if at all, he said. Almost within a couple of minutes of hanging up with the dispatcher who answered the 911 call the firemen were coming through our front door and within a couple of minutes of that happening the ambulance crew arrived. Upon connecting Summers to their personal monitors, the first responders discovered that her blood pressure was completely normal. He went on, they quickly announced she's just fine. Summers explained to Page Six that there was a problem with their home monitor. They were both so appreciative of the fire department. In addition, they inquired as to whether there was anything more we could do besides prepare dinner. Hamel remarked, they had done us an amazing favor for which we will be forever grateful, and Summers gave them a big kiss and big hugs. Hamel's prompt decision to seek assistance makes sense given that Summers recently disclosed a recurrence of her breast cancer. She revealed earlier this month that she is a fighter, saying, as you know, I had breast cancer two decades ago, and every now and then it pops up again, and I continue to bat it down.